Okay, so I'm about to disassemble this pedal board that is a homemade board back from, oh, this was put together September, August of 17, uh, and taken on many different versions of itself. Um, different reiterations so to speak and recently purchased this Friedman Pro 1520 gold pack got the buffer bay with it as well I'm about to transfer everything from this homemade board that served me extremely well over the years many flight gigs with uh, Lisa Morales and Playing with different artists such as Miss Anika Chambers and and a, a Pink Floyd cover band at one point, um, so I needed something to cover a lot of sonic ground, uh, something that could handle, you know, one night do a bunch of Floyd stuff, the next night you know play some really cool Latin Spanish rock with Miss Lisa Bonales, you know, and. Um, be able to cover a lot of ground, go with Anika, play with Mark May, my own band, Paul Ramirez band here in Houston, Texas. So I needed something to cover a lot of ground. However, just recently purchased a Big Sky as well. Um, so I'd like to get that on the board and it wouldn't fit all on here. So it's time to upgrade and uh, do this right. Um, or do this another way. <laughs> that was That's definitely nothing wrong with this. Um, so... Here it goes. I'm going to start disassembling everything and then putting it all together. As mentioned before, uh, the buffer bay and the big sky. And what I'm going to do using this buffer bay is be able to connect this whole setup three different ways at any given moment. So regardless of whether I'm playing a gig with one amp, like most of the time, everything goes straight into the front. Perfect. Or get an amp with an effects loop, uh, which I don't normally use, but let's say, great, I've got one, let's use it. Have all the drives and modulation going into the front of the amp with simply the, the, the time-based effects going into the effects loop. So that would be the timeline as well as the big sky here. So the third option would be a wet dry rig running just the, the drives, the compression, the boost, whatever, to one amp modulation and time-based effects timeline and big sky to a second amp and that's all using this Friedman buffer pretty cool thing here this is that's the back of it takes 9 volt power do you have the Strymon Zuma so it'll handle all of that step one demolition this is gonna hurt <laughs> Awesome. Side note, check this out. So I know you really can't see this, but allow me to lift this up a little bit. You can see these holes ah, right in here. So that's where that OCD is going to sit. Um, built like a tank too, I should say. <laughs> this is where that OCD is going to sit and it has the, the end right here which is perfect because I can butt it up right to that hole. Space saver. All right, moving on. You've got me wrapped around your finger. You do it all so well. Dirty little sinner. Make it hard to tell.
good board. I'll get it cleaned up. Check this out. Now 